Patriots are losing one of their best players for at least a couple months with a biceps injury. Defensive end Matthew Judon is undergoing surgery today to repair his arm. The team will know more about a potential return this season after the procedure. That's all according to NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero. The Bills will likely decide later in the week if linebacker Vaughn Miller will play Sunday after he returns to the practice field this week. According to NFL Network's Stacey Dales, Miller's recovering from an injured knee that ended his season on Thanksgiving last year. The Bills travel Thursday night, arriving Friday morning in London to face the Jags. You can watch that matchup live on NFL Plus and NFL Network. It's the Bills and Jaguars at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London, October 8th, 9.30 Eastern. Sign up today to get an NFL Plus at plus.nfl.com. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. This new Wendy's Frosty flavor is way too exciting to keep under wraps. It's a brand new, first-of-its-kind flavor. Get this, pumpkin spice. I know, right? It's so good. It's rich, it's cozy. It's the perfect flavor for some fall frosty time. Watch, everyone will see it and jump on the bandwagon. Grab a never-before-seen pumpkin spice frosty or pumpkin spice frosty cream cold brew today when you choose wisely. Choose Wendy. Limited time only. Participating U.S. Wendy's vanilla frosty is temporarily unavailable. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same but is 95% cheaper and you can get it online? Go to hymns.com slash joy through hymns you'll get a free medical consultation discreet shipping if prescribed and the process is 100 percent online to start your free online visit go to hymns.com slash joy that's h-i-m-s dot com slash j-o-y we are the imperial valleys am 1230 kxol centro california jane i checked i can verify this it is a wednesday it is the fourth day of october 2023 you verified that. I did. I checked with uh, the U.S. government and uh, the state of California and also the Imperial County Sealer of Weights and Measures. Ah, uh, the old sealer. Yep. Yes. Okay. Used to deal with weight and measures long, 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 long time ago. Well, they are still around. Yes, they are. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did you, uh, did you study for your test? For my test? Yes. Uh, with, for weights and measures? Or, no. no. <laughs> Coming up at 11 o'clock this morning, there is a test. Oh, a test. That would I, be like uh, uh, an emergency test of some kind? Yeah, it'll yeah. be a pop quiz. It's yeah. uh, a test of the National Emergency Alert System. Yes, that's when it's done in stereo. Yes, yeah. That's the way you can get it. Okay, and uh, today is Coffee with a Cop Day. Did you know that? I did know that. I saw uh, that uh, story, and uh, sounds like a cool idea. Did you ever do that? Uh, well, I've had coffee with my brother any number of times. Mm -hmm. He's retired now, but he, you know, still a cop. Right. Once okay. a cop, always a cop. Huh? And uh, for that matter, I had coffee with, uh, and, and you didn't have the coffee, but we were with a retired cop, chief, sheriff, yesterday morning. Yeah. Ray Luera. Ray Luera showing off, and he has a right to show that off. It is a beautiful 1974 MGB that he bought new and recently restored. Mm hmm So... Yeah, that uh, I thought you were talking about a pedal car. No. Okay. Yeah, no. I thought, but I didn't recognize uh, Ray yesterday. He had a ball cap on. Yeah. And, uh, an old jacket. Incognito. And I, yeah. Well, I asked him. I said, Who, "Who's looking for you?" Yep. Oh well. And we have our dad joke of the day, which fits. Okay. 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 What did the coffee report to the police? What did the coffee report to the police? A mugging. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's our our dad joke of the day that fits in with our uh, coffee with a cop. Don't quit your day job. Okay. Birthdays today. Country singer Leroy Van Dyke. Just walk on by. He's 94. 
Actor Felicia Farr is 91. Actor Lori Sanders. Bobby Joe Bentley from uh, Petticoat Junction. She's 82. Actor Clifton Davis, 78. Actor Susan Sarandon, 77. Actor Armand Asante, 74. Actor Alan Rosenberg, 73. Actor Christopher Waltz is 67. Actor Bill Fagerbeck is 66. Actor Kira Sean is 66. Russell Simmons, 66. Actor Wendy McKenna is 65. Actor David Harper, 62. Singer John Cicada, 62. Actor Jerry Minor is 56. Other uh, birthdays, actor Abraham Ben Ruby is 54. Actor Alicia Silverstone, 47. Actor Philip Glasser is 45. Actor Melissa Benoit is 35. Actor Dakota Johnson is 34. Local birthdays, got him. Here you go. We have happy birthday wishes going out today to Brianna Estrada, Allison Ray, Wesley Porter, Lorena Bejarano, Nancy Wise, Gilda De La Rosa, Jesus Martinez, Maria Nero, Kathy Moreno, Quentin Godoy, Anissa Soto, Francisco Ortiz, Nicole Kirby, Pablo Cota Jr., Vanessa Torres, Francisco Rubacalva, Edgar Perez, Maribel Lycia, Christopher Gutierrez, Martha Diaz, Suzanne Sidhu, Alyssa Benavides, Elias Uribe, Frank Curiel, Ayla Wheelers, Owen Guzman, Rocio Aguayo, Susie Martinez, and Abel Rodriguez Sr. Happy birthday from KXO. Okay, nice long list. Happy, <sighs> happy, happy, happy birthday. Okay, in the news, fishermen casting their line in a pond near Camden, Tennessee, hooked a homemade bomb. <laughs> a responding deputy confirmed it was a homemade bomb made of tannerite with a fuse attached. <sighs> the deputy tried to shoot it three times to detonate it, but it was waterlogged and did not explode. And the policeman, uh, I swear it was Barney Fife, could not yeah. be reached for comment. But when he got finished, he tipped the gun up like this and went, Whew. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bernie only had one bullet, so... that's Well, that was yeah. for a reason. Yeah, had to borrow a couple. He was a little dangerous. Yes, right? the Explosive Ordnance Demolition Team of the 70th Ordnance Battalion uh, was uh, part of my unit. And I can see a couple of the guys in uh, EOD trying that method. As <sighs> long as they had the butt of the gun in the right place. Yes, Okay. Uh, we've got a lot of news, so are you ready? I'm ready. We're going to jump ready. in with a look at World in California news headlines right now, brought to you this morning by your friends in the business at Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. CBS News Brief. It's set to be the biggest health care strike in U.S. history. About 75,000 Kaiser Permanente employees have begun a three day strike over wages and staffing. Lisa Schnate's husband suffers from terminal cancer. His chemo treatments were briefly paused. The oncology department, those nurses could not move any faster if they tried. They are, in some cases, I've seen them run from one patient to the next. I think whatever they're asking for, they should get. The House of Representatives paralyzed after Kevin McCarthy was stripped of his speakership. California's GOP Congressman Doug LaMalfa. On our side, the infighting is just really destructive. And for anybody that's a Republican, I don't blame you for being disgusted by what's going on here. Pope Francis opens what could turn out to be a historic synod. Kate McElwee heads the Women's Ordination Conference. Women's Ordination is on the agenda, so we're here in support of those conversations, and we hope that they continue to be courageous, bold, and inclusive. CBS News Brief. I'm Deborah Rodriguez. Become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer and get special pricing on cooling and heating tune-ups all year long. Call today to become a Lock Air Conditioning VIP customer at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. That's 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. Lock VIPs receive discounted service and maintenance, discounted repairs, and priority service with prompt service. Lock Air Conditioning is your local York dealer, but they repair it all. So when the need arises, don't hesitate to call Lock Air Conditioning at 760-93-L-O-C-K-E. 
That's 76093 L O C K E. Lock, the only name in air conditioning for over 40 years. York, install with confidence. Contractor's license number 696216. California headline news, it won't be him. Former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy recapping his nine months in the role. In a news conference yesterday, the California congressman officially declared he won't seek to regain the office. I will not run for speaker again. I'll have the conference pick somebody else. McCarthy spoke just hours after being ousted by a faction of eight conservatives who banded together with the Democrat minority. Student assistants from California State University schools have won the right to vote on forming a union. State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tony Thurman supports the effort. I've supported the right to organize my entire life. I was raised by someone who was a shop steward in her union. She worked at a university. It happened to be the university that I attended as a student. And a nanny from Costa Mesa found guilty of molesting 16 boys and showing child pornography to another boy. The 34-year-old man victimized children between the ages of 2 and 12. Between 2014 and 2019, could face life in prison. I'm John Gilliland, California Headline News. World in California News Headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. For repair, for replacement, call the experts, Lock Air Conditioning and Custom Sheet Metal. Wouldn't it be great if life came with a remote control? You know, you could hit pause when you needed to, or hit rewind, like that time you knocked down that wasp's nest. Uh oh. Well, life doesn't always give you time to change the outcome, but pre-diabetes does. With early diagnosis and a few healthy changes, you can stop pre-diabetes before it leads to type 2 diabetes. To learn your risk, take the one-minute test today at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its pre-diabetes awareness partners. At Staples, you can count on every project being print perfect, guaranteed. I need invitations and posters printed, and they have to be perfect. I need beautifully bound booklets and presentations for my business. Your invitations and booklets will be in captivating color and will be done right every time. That's Staples Print Big Promise. And right now at Staples, get $50 off your print purchase of $150 or more. Try Staples and see the difference. Ends 1014. Exclusions apply. See associate or visit staples.com slash print for details. It's page one of the local news, a service of El Centro Motors, Quick Lane, Tire, and Auto Centers, three locations to serve you. At El Centro Motors, in the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 and Julia Drive, and at the Imperial Valley Mall. A real hero from Imperial County, San Diego and Imperial County American Red Cross host their annual event. George Gale has more on the story. It was the annual Real Hero Award Ceremony. It was held last Friday on the USS Midway in San Diego. The event recognizes unsung heroes among us, ordinary individuals who have shown extraordinary courage in the face of diversity. There was one recipient from Imperial County, Paula Yanas, director of the Imperial County Social Services Department, had been nominated for her commendable leadership in in two significant events. The first event was uh, two days before Christmas last year. Social services had learned Homeland Security was releasing a dozen migrants in the city of Calexico. Giannis immediately activated her department's emergency mobile unit. Due to uh, most of her staff being out for the holiday, Giannis personally led the response. It turned out 30 migrants were left on the street without food or housing. Giannis uh, took care of the uh, situation and even assured the children were provided Christmas presents as well. In uh, February of this year, Giannis coordinated the social services disaster efforts in Salton City after a major power outage affected nearly 1,000 families. For her efforts, she received the Disaster Services Hero Award. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. Police are investigating an armed robbery uh that occurred uh, Monday evening. The incident happened at about 7.30 p.m. in the 200 block of Tangerine in El Centro. A 16-year-old said that he was held up by a man wearing a black hoodie and black ski mask and armed with a shotgun, or a handgun, I should say. The thief took the use uh, cell phone, a vape pen, and his friend's uh, wallet, the suspect was described as being about five foot four inches and thin built. He was last seen heading eastbound on Tangerine and then north on Esselman. 
Despite the search of the area, the suspect was not located, but police did find a black 9mm Glock-style ghost gun left behind at the scene. KXO News Times 643. No, you had it right, 743. Time hasn't changed yeah, yet. No, it hasn't. How about the next time you need service on your car? We come to you. Hi, this is Mike Allison for El Central Motors and Quick Lane. Our mobile service vans are an extension of our dealership service lane. We will come to you for an oil change, filters, brakes, batteries, tire rotation, and so much more. Hey, while your car is just sitting there at work, we'll take care of your service needs. And it doesn't cost any extra. Schedule your appointment now at ElCentralMotors.net. El Central Motors mobile service vans. What a great idea. Continuing with more local news, an early morning fire in Hopeville. George Gale has the story. Hopeville Fire says the call came in at around 2.30 in the morning. Hopeville Fire responded to 6th and all of this week. They found the Church of Christ was on fire. Assistance was called in from El Centro, Brawley, NAF, Westmoreland, and Imperial County. They could not save the building. Officials say it was a complete loss. There were no injuries, however, reported. It is suspected the fire started in a storage room area on the south side of the building. Building. The uh, cause is still under investigation. Church officials say the building was gone, but services will continue at sister congregations. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. The county uh, free libraries are presenting libraries on the spectrum. There will be story times, uh, singing, and use of visual schedules. Families can enjoy uh, sensory bins, uh, blocks, crafts, and more. It is in Calipatria this evening. On October 10th, it'll be in uh, Holtville. October 11th at the Imperial Libraries. October the 17th at the Brawley Library. October 21st at the El Centro Library. And... Uh, October the 25th at the Camarina Library in Calexico. Be aware, COVID protocols vary at each library. That concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the Local News, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers with three locations in the Valley. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. Oh, 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 all right. Protect your vehicle's engine with Syntec and O'Reilly Auto Parts. Syntec Premium Full Synthetic Motor Oil is formulated for today's engines to dissipate heat and friction and reduce wear. Get five quarts of Syntec Full Synthetic and a MicroGuard Select filter for just $33.99. Limit supply, see store for details. Get Syntec only at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. <laughs> With fall appliance savings at the Home Depot, we'll get your kitchen clicking. With new Samsung refrigerators with extra large capacities. Or dishwashers with space-saving solutions that can fit so much, you won't need the kitchen sink. Plus, with convenient shopping in-store and online, your savings are just a click away. Get up to $2,000 off select kitchen bundles. The Home Depot. How doers get more done. Pricing valid September 28th through October 18th. Gas range extra U.S. only. See store online for details. It's page two of the local news with weather brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Continuing with more local news this morning, uh, cattle call Rody, Roly, <laughs> royalty is uh, in place. Queen and her court have been crowned. George Gale explains. Cattle call coronation ceremonies were held over the weekend. The event was held in the St. Mary's Catholic Church Gymnasium in El Centro. There was a nice-sized crowd on hand to witness the coronations. Uh, there were uh, four titles presented for the 200, uh, 2023 event. Amelia Morales was crowned a little miss. Savannah Hernandez was crowned junior queen. Teen queen went to Calista Lopez. And the 2023 cattle call queen is a Andrea Mascarenas. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. An El Centro man's truck was stolen sometime uh, Sunday night. The 2015 Toyota Tundra was apparently taken from the 1500 block of Euclid Avenue sometime Sunday night or early Monday morning. California Highway Patrol 
located the truck burned and abandoned in a field in the county. The vehicle's owner has had been unaware of the theft until the CHP notified uh, him. Well, COVID in the news again, and here is a COVID update. For Imperial County, there is no update. Imperial County Public Health COVID website is still down. Officials at the health department have said they plan to continue the updates, but they have not said when the estimate or when they estimate uh, that will be. In the meantime, the neighbors to the south have issued a new report. The uh, state the public health department of Baja California says cases continue to increase. According to the latest report, there are 1,217 new cases in the state. 336 of the cases are in Mexicali. 604 are in Tijuana. Officials say despite the increased positive tests, hospitalizations are low. They say the virus is under control. They recommend children and seniors wear masks, but there are no new mandates for the general public. For KXL Local News, I'm George Gale. A man reported that there was somebody attempting to steal his SUV. The report was made to El Centro Police at about 9.24 a.m. Monday in the 500 block of 10th Street. Police were able to locate a suspect, a 28-year-old man in the area of 10th and Brighton, the suspect uh, was arrested and booked at Imperial County Jail on charges of being drunk in public. We'll be back with a look at the weather. My name is Shelley Wilkinson, and I am an Imperial Valley Food Bank board member. Food has the power to fuel communities, especially among those struggling to find their next meal. As the main distribution center of donated food in Imperial County, we store, rescue, and purchase food in bulk to serve 25,000 people each month at over 30 locations. Join the fight against hunger and food insecurity in the Imperial Valley by donating online today at www.ivfoodbank.org. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. According to the National Weather Service, dry and tranquil conditions will prevail the next several days as high pressure builds into the region. As a result, above normal temperatures return starting tomorrow, likely reaching 100 degrees by Friday. 89, the high in the valley yesterday, 61, our overnight low. Sunny today with a high near 94. West wind 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 miles an hour. Those winds will then turn out of the north-northeast. Clear tonight with a low around 68. Northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming east after midnight. Thursday, sunny with a high near 97. West wind, 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming south-southeast. And right now, downtown El Centro, 65 degrees, 42% relative humidity. Wind out of the west, 7 to 10 miles per hour. Local news, page 2 in the weather, brought to you by the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Fighting hunger in Imperial County since 1991. Become a hunger warrior. Contact the Imperial Valley Food Bank. Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialist. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 60 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789 or 344-2533 on the north end. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. And it's sports time brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, an affiliate of the Scripps Health Network, working together to provide you the best care. Major League Baseball wild card action yesterday. The Rangers, uh, they shut out the Rays for nothing. Twins topped the Blue Jays 3 to 1. Diamondbacks dumped the Brewers 6 to 3. And the Phillies over the Marlins 4 1. Action resumes today. Texas at Tampa Bay, that'll be at noon. Toronto follows uh, Minnesota, Arizona and Milwaukee, and then Miami and uh, Philadelphia. Major League Baseball continues. The uh, American League Wild Card Series, well, yeah. 
apparently uh, not too many people in Tampa really cared because the wild card opener drew under 20,000 fans for that game. Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District, ready to serve you and your family for all of your health care needs. Let our team of dedicated physicians guide you on your journey to better health. Pioneers is a recognized leader in healthcare and has more than 10 health centers and clinics throughout the Imperial Valley. When the need arises, don't hesitate to come and see us. We have services and locations in Calexico and Raleigh, and of course, our award-winning hospital, Pioneers Memorial. For more information on all Pioneer services, visit www.pmhd.org today. Well, New York Jets quarterback Aaron Rodgers, just three weeks removed from surgery to repair a torn Achilles tendon, said yesterday that he's well ahead of the normal protocols and still clings to the belief that he can shock the world by returning this season. Radio, Aaron. And uh, in other news... The small plane crash that killed former NFL tight end Russ Francis and another man in uh, New York occurred after the aircraft engine apparently lost power, according to federal investigators. Thursday night football, well, you can subscribe to Prime or you can just tune in to AM 1230. It's the Bears and the Washington Commanders, 430 tomorrow afternoon, right here on AM 1230 KXO, NFL primetime football throughout the season. That's it for Sports Time, brought to you by Pioneers Memorial Healthcare District. Log on to pmhd.org for more information about Pioneers. you for choosing Imperial Printers Rocket Copy. In today's highly competitive business climate, your company's image is important. The printed materials your company uses conveys a major part of that image. Our graphic designers have the talent and expertise to create a lasting impression for your business. Imperial Printers Rocket Copy offers virtually any type of business solution to meet your needs. From business cards and stationery to computer forms, full color brochures and posters. Let our excellent service and attention to detail provide the best impression for you. Locally owned and operated, Imperial Printers Rocket Copy has locations near you at 430 West Main Street and 100 South 11th Street in El Centro and 184 South Plaza in Brawley. And it's financial news with a brief look at the weather brought to you by Southwest Security, a locally owned company protecting you and your property. They also offer 24-hour day post office boxes at Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil, El Centro. More than 75,000 unionized employees of Kaiser Permanente, one of the nation's largest not-for-profit health providers, walked off the job today. The striking employees who work across California, Colorado, Washington, Virginia, Oregon, and Washington, D.C. are represented by a coalition of eight unions that comprise 40% of Kaiser Permanente's total staff. The vast majority of these striking workers are in West Coast uh, states. The strike began this morning and, according to unions, will run through Saturday. Well, your dream of buying 400 private jets or some Lamborghini Veneno Roadsters for you and 143 of your closest friends could become reality after tonight's Powerball drawing. The grand prize worth an estimated $1.2 billion before taxes, of course. If you hit the jackpot but can't wait 29 years to collect all the dough, you cash the cash value option is more than 550 million bucks. Wendy's and McDonald's have emerged victorious from a lawsuit that accused the fast food chains of false advertising. A federal judge dismissed a lawsuit brought against the two companies, accusing them of selling smaller hamburgers than advertised and alleging the food didn't look as appetizing in person as pictured on their websites. <sighs> You're going to find an attorney that'll take on anything. 
And let's take a look at the uh, big board right now. And we can tell you it's mixed. The Dow off 100 points at 32,903. The S&P 500 down just four at 42,25. Meanwhile, NASDAQ up 50 points at 13,109. Gold down 8,30 an ounce. And oil is down 287 a barrel. Yeah, you're going to find the savings on the, uh, on the gas pump today already. Hi, this is Jason Jackson, owner of Southwest Security. Two years ago, I opened Southwest Postal, offering you 24-hour access, 365 days a year. So if you're tired of dealing with the inconvenience of our post office hours, and you would like to be able to get your mail when you want, Saturdays, Sundays, holidays, in the middle of the night, then come visit us at Southwest Postal with 24-hour staff. Plus, we're also your local FedEx, DHL, and Postal Service Center. We even offer text message and email notification when you receive your mail. Southwest Postal at the corner of 4th and Hyle in El Centro. It will be sunny today with a high near 94, west wind 10 to 15 miles an hour, then becoming north-northeast. Winds could gust as high as 20 miles an hour. Clear tonight with a low around 68, northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming east after midnight. Thursday, sunny with a high near 97, west wind 5 to 10 miles an hour, becoming south-southeast later in the morning. And right now we have 65 degrees, 42% relative humidity, wind coming out of the west 5 to 10 miles an hour. Financial news and the weather brought to you this morning by Southwest Security. Remember, they offer 24-hour-a-day post office boxes at Southwest Postal, 4th and Heil in El Centro. CBS News is coming up. We'll be back after that with more of the uh, very best oldies on the radio. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro on AM 1230. KXO. is CBS News on the Hour, presented by Indeed.com. I'm Steve Kathan. A major strike underway today in five states and Washington, D.C. 75,000 health care workers at Kaiser Permanente, represented by a coalition of unions. Demarius Reyes is a medical assistant. She says they want better pay and increased staff. They have a lot of employees that are very knowledgeable with a lot of potential. And the fact that they don't want to invest and they don't want to bargain in good faith is very disappointing. The history that played out yesterday in the House of Representatives, the removal of the Speaker of the House has left questions about what's ahead and who might succeed Kevin McCarthy. CBS's John Dickerson. We're stuck at the moment. Until there's a new speaker, business will basically come to a standstill. Yeah. What's going to be required to move forward on government funding and addressing any of the problems that America faces is compromise, working together, all of those things that this small number of Republicans kicked out a speaker for engaging. Ohio's Jim Jordan says he'll run for speaker. The Supreme Court taking up a case today that would make it harder to sue hotels when their websites are not clear about their accommodations for people with disabilities. Well, the judge issued a gag order in the Trump civil fraud trial yesterday, but that didn't stop the former president from speaking as he entered court today. This is a real road, and it's the beginning of communism in our country. This is the beginning of communism. A railroading that's the beginning of communism, he said. In Baltimore, Police Commissioner Richard Worley vows to make arrests after the shooting last night at the Morgan State University campus. There's a total of five victims, ages 18 to 22, we believe all have non-life-threatening injuries at this time. The shooting happened as students were heading to a homecoming event. Overseas, correspondent Chris Livesey in Rome reports on a major Catholic conference going on at the Vatican. It's been called the Super Bowl of the Catholic Church. Bishops gathered from around the world to discuss hot-button topics, such as whether or not priests can get married, or whether women can become deacons, or whether or not divorced and remarried Catholics can have communion. The Synod is already historic. It's the first time women and lay people are being allowed to vote. However, 80% of participants are still bishops. Well, the jackpot is $1.2 billion for tonight's Powerball lottery drawing. Ticket buying is a group effort for Mac Katz and others on New York's Long Island. We run a friends and family lotto group, Powerball, Mega Millions, whenever it's above. $500 million, $10 per person, end up between 80 and 100 people. 
Checking Wall Street right now. The Dow is down 116 points. S&P down seven. The Nasdaq is up about 35 points. This is CBS News. You need to hire? Indeed is with you every step of the way. Helping you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Dive into crime dramas on Pluto TV. Unravel the mysteries on CSI, Criminal Minds, and Blue Bloods. Plus, watch thousands of other crime movies and TV shows, all for free. Download Pluto TV on all your favorite devices and start streaming now. Exergen thermometers are a top choice of medical professionals at highly ranked hospitals across the U.S. Accuracy matters, so make Exergen the chosen thermometer for your home and family. Available at Walmart and other participating retailers. Learn more at exergen.com. This season, your coffee orders are getting warmer and your outfits are getting cozier. The world keeps changing, and so does COVID-19. That's why this season's COVID-19 shots have been updated. They're one of the best ways to help protect yourself against COVID-19. You can get a COVID-19 shot at the same visit as a flu shot if you're due for both, as recommended by the CDC. Talk to your healthcare provider to learn more and schedule at vaccines.gov. And don't forget to get extra cinnamon spice. Sponsored by Pfizer and BioNTech. In Ukraine, a specialized sniper unit is hoping to make a difference in the fight with Russia. CBS's Ramey and Asensio. American bullets from American rifles crack through the air near Ukraine's front line with Russia. This sniper unit granted CBS News special access. Always working in teams of two, a spotter checks wind speed. His sniper adjusts angle, then between heartbeats, fires. Hitting a target nearly a quarter of a mile away. Is it easy to hit this target? Yep. Yeah? <laughs> we bridge the gaps where infantry can't, he says. We liquidate top targets, like commanders and machine gunners, killing with a single bullet. Three scientists share the Nobel Prize for Chemistry, including one from Columbia University in New York and another from MIT. I'm Steve Kathan, CBS News. And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. When I wake up in the morning, AM 1230. Here we go now. KXO. 